going on guys welcome back to the channel we are out here in mckinney texas today at true street motorsports got gold digger back here behind us we are finally putting this thing on the dyno told jake's gonna bring you a video with it on the dyno well here's the day <laughs> got everything fixed on i got all the boost leak fixed got all the boost controllers fixed we got the rag out of the fuel tank so all that's working good now uh we've driven around training fixed everything's working fine on it now we're gonna get in here and make a few pulls on it we're not trying to go for crazy horsepower number guys we're just trying to get a base tune in it so we get this thing out the track i mean numbers are nice and all that to have if you want to gloat and post on the internet but we are definitely not about that we want to get this thing a base tune in it good solid tune probably around 15 to 20 pounds take the sucker out the track start making some passes with it with that being said guys we're going to pull the sucker off the trailer get it in there get on the rollers start making some pulls barely up a gate pressure what do you have eight pounds in here sevens or eights so what you're saying is there's potential <laughs> so the gate the dome pressure went to eight and then back back off to five so at least that's working now okay then i pulled it to 69 sound is smooth all the way up Supposed to be smiling, Joey. <laughs> Your roundy round shirt. I probably shouldn't say that. We may have some sprint car drivers right. watching the channel. <laughs> well, you got the sleeves on it still. <laughs> That's the problem. And a wrench in your back pocket. It helps when you know the sensor is. When the controllers work. Yeah. When you have it. Wired. And the, that right. whole and bank's firing. Right yeah. You got the whole right side bank firing now. Yeah. Uh, transmission that's working i'm looking to give a shout out to dollar tree mm -hmm. paper towels it's true they do not center disintegrate they work really great if you leave one in the tank awesome filtering it sucks in about that far and you know dash 12 holes yeah you notice you can't hear the fuel pump this time yeah, it's not <laughs> no. all right guys look at the first pull we're going to pull number two. Here we go. Ow.
sample of the meth that's freezing there. I, I wouldn't have paid attention. It's right in there. Holy crap, dude. Look at that so it's like a water hose that's freezing that thing. If I could have caught that rag blowing straight into the turbo, that would have sucked, but it'd been, it'd have been nice to catch though. I let off early because I was worried about it. <laughs> it made the perfect pathway. I thought it was gone. What? I thought that rag was gone, oh. and that's why I let off the jam. I think you timed it just perfect. I think it only made it like 6,500. Look at that thing. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't see it. Yeah, it sprays a lot in there. Is that the second one? Not bad for a second pool. What were you projecting that to run? Boost wise. What were you calling for? Uh, 14 pounds of CO2, so it should have made 12 or something pounds of boost. Definitely over 10. I could see the driver's side a lot. I mean, oh, the in. passenger side looks like. I get in front of the car, but I could see the passenger yeah, side. Yeah, the, the, the side passenger side looked like a freaking water sprinkler spraying in there. I mean, it was a. Yeah. Like, holy yeah, crap, yeah, dude. It looked like your pressure washer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, second pull. What did it make, second pull? 680, something like that? Yeah, yeah 680. Conservative. Like I said, still mess with the tune. Just gonna work up now, gonna pull the plug. Just double check everything's looking the same as the motor as it is on screen. And keep pulling away, plugging around on it. So what changes are we making? Uh, the spark plugs are cold, so it's got one more degree of timing in it. But that part of the map. We're gonna lean it out just the same. Leaving the boost the same and all that? We're gonna, we're gonna make a little bit more boost. Kind of trying to tune all of it at once. Make the least amount of pulls that we can. All right. Guys, third pass. I'm gonna try to make about 18 pounds of boost. A little more timing in it. Still being conservative with it. Everything's looking good. Do this one to see what happens. Go to the next. Tighten them, tighten them up? Yeah, it's, uh, it's got a rim on it, but I mean, it's definitely there. Well, tighten them up. Well, the rags lasted, but you tore apart the shelves. <laughs> You're to blame. All right. Is it? Send it. <laughs> well, he's got a little bit of a boost leak up here on the things he was just saying. It's coming out of the couplers. So he's gonna tighten those down a little bit. At least hopefully that makes a difference. What is this, the fourth pull? No changes.
We have an uh oh moment. Throttle cable brake. Oh, you didn't let off the gas? It blew off. I thought it was the throttle. It might be a hose or something. Are you talking about the water? No. I didn't let off. Oh, you didn't let off. No. Okay. I didn't see anything. Yeah, I didn't see anything except for when you let up when well when you let off the water from the meth came up, but that was it. So I saw 25 and then cut ignition. That was your Eureka pass right there too. Say so we just put the same tune back in it and roll with it. <laughs> I'm assuming that's what you already had in mind. What are we thinking? Number one? it's gonna be about 18 so one degree of timing in it should make eight something eight, eight, eight. say 864 They didn't seem as aggressive as the last pool. <laughs> Not on there, but uh, oh, it's the last one. Right. <laughs> the fun one. <laughs> yeah, no, it meant the car getting stuck. I only had it on 23. Well, yeah. I just put it back to 20. <laughs> <laughs> Made all the difference. It just needs more boost, Joe. That's all it is.